now let us try to convert this 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 let us try to to convert the given galvanometer into into a into a voltmeter Okay, so we have this galvanometer. We want to convert it into a voltmeter, and a voltmeter measures the voltage, right? And it is connected in parallel across the element or the resistance uh, uh, across which you want the want the voltage. So, so for example, I have say a circuit, okay, which is which is say something like that, okay. Okay, and 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 you are trying to measure the voltage across this resistor. So what do we do? We actually connect a voltmeter across this, like this, right? So so I have a voltmeter connected across it something like this so this is my voltmeter right now this is any resistance of the circuit right now when i connect something in parallel I would not like it to again disturb the whole circuit, right? Why? Because if it if it kind of draws some current from this, from, from this current that is actually coming like this, if it draws some current out of it, then only the remaining current will go through this. Mm -hmm. And it is only that IR that I'll be measuring, which will be less than what it actually is. That is number one. Number two is if I am connecting something in parallel and this has a resistance. And if this resistance is small, what happens? What happens? It will actually, and, and we have just seen that if there are two resistors, their, their resultant resistance is lesser than the least, right? So what happens if this is a very small value, this will this will lead to the total resistance becoming less than itself. Okay, and 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 the current that this will draw will become higher than what it was drawing, right? Mm -hmm. Understand? So 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 this 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 current will become higher, this current, right? And if, if this is a very small value, what happens? It though this current has become higher than the original, it will draw most of this current through itself, okay, and leave very small amount of current going through this, mm -hmm. okay. So so that so that this IR will not be what it was without this voltmeter. Fine. Mm -hmm. So what happens if I do not want to alter the the net current drawn by this circuit that means this combination does not alter the value of r much mm. the net the net that it introduces that does not deviate from the value of r for that this resistance this this has to be a very very high value of resistance okay so the voltmeter has a very very high resistance that is the characteristic of a of a voltmeter okay so a voltmeter should have a very high resistance what happens 
if it is very very high it almost behaves like an open circuit right like like an open circuit a very high resistance does not allow much current to deviate so the current that goes through r remains almost the same that you see here right so these two currents almost become become the same and if it is very very high <coughs> the net resistance also won't change much let let's try to take an example so so if this is say 10 ohms and and i connect something like a uh, 10000 ohms in in parallel let us try to see the impact upon 10000 10 right so product upon the sum okay that is the net resistance so 10000 10 fine <coughs> so what happens so so let us try to calculate that it is it is it is 100000 is Hundred thousand divided by this, which is nine point nine nine, right? This is equal to the net resistance that the circuit sees is nine point nine nine, which is not much different from the value of ten that we had taken, right? Now, if you make it higher, you'll find this will become become even closer to ten. not exactly but but closer to 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 10 so so it is if it is say 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 100000 so the net resistance becomes this becomes 100000 divided by 100 1010 right and if we try to calculate the value i have five zeros here and one here so six zeros so Six zeros divided by and, and that makes it nine point nine nine nine. You see, it starts getting closer mm -hmm. and closer to ten, and that is the reason we we use a very 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 high resistance. Now, a galvanometer does have a high resistance. We do say that, but it is not so much that. it is it 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 will kind of act like an open circuit right so what happens we have to connect a very high resistance in series with it okay so that so that the so that the total resistance that you get right so this is r s this is r g the total resistance the net resistance that you get is simply the sum of them okay so so it is r s plus r g and and that becomes if 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 i keep my r s very high r s plus r g also becomes very very high right so so and now it is suitable to be to be connected parallel to the circuit to act as a voltmeter right so so what do we have to do so we connect a very high resistance connect a a very high resistance in series with in series with the galvanometer okay that is one thing right to to increase the resistance of the galvanometer that is the first thing to increase the resistance of the voltmeter right mm -hmm. now there is now what value do we put any arbitrary value the answer is no because what happens how will this show deflection this is ultimately nothing but but a galvanometer in disguise is it not mm -hmm. this is nothing but a galvanometer 
and galvanometer shows deflection according to the current it it receives the current that passes through the coil okay so so if i want say a full deflection mm. for something right what happens i have to pass the rated current of the galvanometer for that voltage okay so so let's try to understand suppose suppose this was this was 10 volts okay and this rated current for this galvanometer is say 0 0.01 okay then you will have to pass this 0 0.01 ampere through the galvanometer for it to show the full scale deflection mm -hmm. and that will define that will actually that will actually define what amount what what magnitude of rs you will connect what value of rs you will connect in series so you have to connect it in such a way that when it is connected so so it is connected like this okay so you say you say that i want to connect i want to i, I want this voltmeter to be a voltmeter between 0 to 40 volts so what should happen when it is measuring a 40 volt that means when 40 volts are applied across this mm -hmm. this should be carrying its rated current which which let us say that can be say 0 0.001 ampere so so that will define the value that will decide what value of rs to be connected in series mm -hmm. right it's not that you say I'll, I'll connect a billion ohms in series because then then this will carry such a small amount of current that there will be hardly any deflection in the in, in the galvanometer in the in the actual galvanometer and and it will be of no use to you right it will be showing say 40 volt as, as say a zero volt sort of thing correct and this also acts as a protection resistor you understand so when 40 volt is going in and had i connected this galvanometer directly <clears throat> okay say with a with a with a say with a 10 ohm resistance okay with a 10 ohm resistance what would have happened if i if without this rs i would have connected 40 volts this would have carried 4 amperes of current <clears throat> that would be 4000 times what it was rated for mm -hmm. okay and that will <clears throat> and that will generate a heat of 16 million times 400 4000 squared times what it is intended for and this whole galvanometer will burn mm -hmm. do you get that it will burn so <clears throat> so the second thing is that when the galvanometer is measuring its rated voltage when the galvanometer is measuring its rated voltage its rated voltage the current that should pass through it should be the current that is required for full scale deflection is it not should be <coughs> the current required for full scale deflection. Do you get that? Do you get that? Now let us come to a question.
Now let us try to solve a question based on this. Let us say we have a galvanometer coil which has a resistance of 12 ohms, right? And the meter shows the full scale deflection for a current of 3 milliamperes. How will you convert the meter into a voltmeter of range 0 to 18 volts, right? So what happens? It means we intend to, to, to connect this, this voltmeter across a voltage of at the max 18 volts, right? So, so what happens? We have we have our galvanometer as having a resistance of 12 ohms, right? And and this voltage at the max should be 18 volts, right? So it should be 18 volts okay now what is this rs that i should be connecting in series right now after this is connected in series the total resistance of the whole thing becomes R which is R S plus 12 correct and what is the current that it will carry if I connect it across 18 volts so I is equal to 18 upon R S plus 12 is it not and that should be the full scale current right the current required for full scale deflection because at 18 volt how will I how will I how will I like my voltmeter to look because I'll, I'll kind of have something like this and this I'll mark as 18 volts right mm -hmm. say say a 9 volt here okay. and, and things like that so so what happens if if it goes and kind of kind of hits an 18 volt here that it will do it after all a galvanometer that it will do only when it carries its full scale current right the, the full scale deflection current and that current is is 3 milliamperes so so this this should be 3 milliamperes right mm -hmm. so this is 0 0.003 is equal to 18 upon rs plus 12 fine so rs plus 12 is equal to 18 upon 0 0.003 if I multiply it by 1000 it becomes 18,000 upon 3 which is nothing but 6000 right so, so this is nothing but this is nothing but 6000 so RS plus 12 is actually 6000 and RS is equal to 5988 ohms, right? So, so when someone asks me to design it, I'll say, say a resistor RS has to be connected in series, has to be connected in series with the work in series with the galvanometer series with the galvanometer and secondly and secondly that value of rs has to be 5988 volts that is how we design we we 
we convert a voltmeter into uh, a galvanometer into a voltmeter, right?